taps are in routine use throughout industry. A tap cuts an internal thread in holes from one millimeter in diameter to ones several inches across. They can be used by hand, by machine, and on many different kinds of material. Dormer taps are constantly used in industry for all kinds of applications, from the simplest jobs to the most complex. Each Dormer high-speed steel tap is a precision tool designed for a specific type of job, so it's essential to know which to use and why. Basically, there are three types of tap. The most common is the straight flute, short machine and hand tap. As its name implies, it's used for both hand and machine tapping. A set of these taps consists of a taper lead, a second lead, and a bottoming lead. The spiral point or gun nose tap is designed for machine tapping of through holes, that is, one that's open at both ends. The spiral flute tap is designed for the machine tapping of blind holes. These threaded holes can have one of three basic functions. First, they can be used as a fastening thread when you want to fasten two components together, like the spindle and forks of this bicycle. Second, as a sealing thread when you want to make liquid or gas-tight joints. Or thirdly, as a thread when you need to transmit movement, like the translational screw of this milling machine. For these reasons, the tap is one of the fundamental precision tools of industry. So let's take a closer look at it. The cutting face, combined with the lead, is where the cutting action takes place. The thread on the tap determines the thread form in the holes. The flutes provide the cutting faces and swarf clearance and allow the lubricant to reach the cutting area. The lands are the threaded portions between the flutes. The web or core is the central solid area of the tap. The shank provides location into chucks or collets and the square transmits the drive. These tools are the end product of the many precision operations used in the making of a dormer tap. Dormer take great care in using only the finest high-speed steel, which is subjected to stringent metallurgical control before being accepted for manufacture. Lengths of high-speed steel bar are then loaded into bar-feed automatic machines, which perform a turning and parting off operation. Next, the blank is faced to length and centered. The square is then produced 
on these special machines. The tap is now being roll marked with the thread size and form, tap drill size and the trade name Dormer. At this stage the thread form is pre-rolled prior to hardening and finish grinding operations. The taps are now hardened by heat treatment in salt baths. Stringent standards of temperature and timing are essential to ensure that the taps are of the correct hardness. All dormer taps are carefully inspected and straightened before the grinding operations begin. The flutes are then produced on automatic grinding machines. The thread form is ground to extremely fine tolerances on fully automatic machines. Every tap is then subjected to inspection. The shank is finished ground to size, highlighting the permanent roll mark. Lead grinding then completes the manufacture of dormer hand taps. Similar manufacturing sequences apply equally to the spiral point and spiral flute taps, except spiral point taps are ground with the distinctive cutting features which drive the swarf ahead of the tap. Spiral flute taps are ground with helical flutes which bring the swarf back out of the hole. And the story doesn't end there. There are many variations of thread, flute, diameter and pitch. Whatever the job, Dorma have a tap to suit it, or will make one. And while we're on the subject, when ordering taps, please tell us what kind you want. For instance, which of these would you send to somebody who orders a 10 millimeter tap? Simply, what we need to know are three things. One, the nominal size or diameter. And is it imperial or metric? Two, the type of thread, metric, UNC, UNF, BSW, and so on. Three, the type of tap, hand tap with taper, second, or bottoming leads, spiral point for through holes, or spiral flute tap for blind holes. For example, a 10 millimeter bottoming lead tap or a 1 and 3 8 British Standard Whitworth taper lead tap. Simple. It will reduce delay in delivery and make sure you get the tool you want. If you're ordering specials, a little more information or a drawing will be necessary. The Dorma Tap and Die Information Handbook will tell you what we need to know. To get the best results from such precision-made tools, always follow the correct working procedure. We'll demonstrate it now highlighting points that require special attention. First, select the right kind of tap for the job. Then drill a hole of the correct size. You'll find the size marked on most dormer taps or in your dormer information handbook. Hold the tap in a suitable tapping attachment and adjust to the torque required for the material. Select the correct tapping speed from the tables in the handbook. Ensure that the tap is correctly aligned with the hole. Make sure you're using the right cutting fluid and that there is an adequate supply. Then start the machine with the tap clear of the workpiece. When tapping by machine, it's essential to allow the tap to feed smoothly into the hole. Undue pressure will feed the tap ahead of the pitch 
and produce malformed and oversized threads. Ensure the tap is sharp and in good condition. A blunt tap like this one will only produce poor quality holes. On the opposite side of the picture is the direct counterpart of the tap, the circular screwing die. The die cuts an external thread. Dormer have manufactured many millions of high-speed steel dies to complete their comprehensive range of threading tools. Like the tap, there is more than one kind of die. They can be supplied either in solid pattern or split for adjustment. Dormer also produce an enormous range of special application dies for use on specific machines or in special tool holders. Swiss, Claw, Dome, Auto Index and Acorn, to name just a few. In addition to circular screwing dies, Dormer make hexagon die nuts. These are intended only for hand tool use and are designed for cleaning up worn or damaged threads. The thread forming work of the die is done by the cutting edges. The clearance holes or face holes provide cutting edges and swarf clearance. The land is the threaded portion between the clearance holes. On adjustable split dies, the split and closing in dimples enable minor adjustments to be made to compensate for wear. To produce a circular screwing die, the steel bars are faced, drilled, chamfered and parted off to form a blank. The face is then ground to a close tolerance. The blank is notched and the closing in dimples drilled. On certain sizes of die, the lead is punched on this press. The face holes are drilled and then the blank is marked with its size, thread form and our name. The thread of dies and die nuts is produced with a master tap. The dies are heat treated to harden them and again stringent standards are applied. To complete the process, the cutting faces are finished ground and the die is finally inspected. All Dormer tools are subjected to a thorough final inspection. For example, these taps have to meet rigid quality control standards before being passed for distribution. The finished tools are packed in our distinctive red and yellow boxes. Each has a protective sleeve to safeguard the cutting edges. They are then distributed to our own warehouses and to dormer stockists in home and export markets. We have engineering distributors who can supply you with any dormer tools in more than 120 export markets outside the United Kingdom. Many millions of dormer taps and dies are in constant use on threading applications, large and small, throughout the world. For instance, tapping phosphor bronze collars for the lifting table mechanisms on milling machines. Spiral flute taps are tapping fixtures used in sophisticated plastic injection molding machines.
This customer manufactures millions of brass screws to his specific requirements using dormer dies. are used in the making of the familiar household electricity meter. Taps as small as 14 standard wire gauge are required for threading the holes in bicycle spoke nipples. Nipples retain the threaded end of the bicycle spokes in the rim of the wheel. These massive ship's propellers are tapped to enable them to be mounted on the drive shaft from the ship's engines. Holes up to 150 millimeters in diameter are also tapped in the boss to enable an eye bolt to be inserted. This is used to lower the propeller over the ship's side during the mounting operation. These threads bear the weight of manganese bronze propellers weighing up to 120 tons. This is one of the most vital parts of the revolutionary sea lion crane, developed for use on offshore oil rigs. Dormer taps are used in an SPV tapping attachment to tap retaining holes in the slewing ring of this new fast lift crane. Unlike conventional cranes, the sea lion has no counterweight or balancing system. This slewing ring and the bolt securing it are withstanding the full strain of the crane's boom and the 60-ton load. Airframe manufacturing requires accurate threading on extremely strong, lightweight metals. Like these components, used in the making of weapon bay doors with combined extra fuel tanks for these highly successful British aircraft. All part of the Dormer routine.